All right, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel, The Moto Soul. Today we're here in my garage sitting next to my 2022 MV Agusta F3. This is the Rosso model. Before I get too deep into the topic of this video, I wanna ask that if this is your first time on the channel, if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, pop down below and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you can catch future content that I upload. Go over to the channel and check out some of our previous videos tons of moto vlogs and uh, information on the bike build as well as a walk around of the bike here next to me. So with that out of the way, we won't bury the lead any further. This is a video that I never hoped that I was gonna have to make. I don't think anybody ever thinks that they're going to uh, end up in this situation. This is my very first bike though. And as most people have experienced with their first bikes, I had a little hiccup the other night. As you guys saw in the title of the video, I dropped this bike. So the story behind all that, I had just gotten back from dinner with a couple of my buddies and this was on a Saturday night prior to the Sunday morning Texas Bikes and Coffee meets that we normally go to. I decided it was gonna be a good idea for me to hop on the bike real quick, go out and top off the gas so I didn't have to do it the following morning. I will say up front, there was no alcohol involved, no drugs involved. I don't partake in any of that. Just a knuckleheaded mistake. I was at the gas station, getting the bike flipped around uh, the right direction so that I could get it fueled up. I'm rolling at a very slow speed, maybe one, two miles per hour. Got a little off balance, grabbed too much front brake and dumped the bike right there in the parking lot. This was about 11.30 at night, so there was no people around, nobody saw it. Still embarrassing nonetheless. Now I'm here sharing it with you fine folks. What I'll do is I'll grab the camera, we'll walk around to the other side of the bike, which is where all the damage is and uh, we'll kind of do a little damage evaluation with you guys. Fortunately, I wasn't injured in the drop. I was able to get completely out of the way, so no injuries to me. All right, so we're here on the left side of the bike. Uh, this is the side that I dropped it on. And as you can see from here, if I didn't tell you that I dropped it, you wouldn't actually probably find any of the damage right off the bat. But if you look down here, right there on the fairing, you got a bunch of scuffs. That's the main portion of the bike that took a, the brunt of the fall. I did get a small scuff on the bar end there. The Rizoma Stealth Mira actually took a little scuff. And then what really sucks, if you guys saw my last video, I just got the CNC Racing rear sets put on this thing. And both the shift lever and the rear peg here made contact with the ground and got a little scuffed up. Luckily those are folding pieces, so uh, they didn't break. I do believe that the CNC shift lever is canted a little bit inward toward the bike. Doesn't affect the functionality of it, but it does suck to go down with brand new pieces on the bike. Would have been a lot more fortunate had this happened a few days earlier before I had these pieces installed. So that's a look at the damage that the bike accumulated from the drop. Fortunately, it's all very, very minor and doesn't affect the functionality of the motorcycle at all. Of course, it hurts pretty bad. Brand new bike, beautiful bike, dropped it and got a couple scratches. I guess it wouldn't be a race bike without a few scratches. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna make this video. A few days after the drop, I was pretty torn up about it, but I did feel a responsibility to the motorcycle community to let new riders know that it's okay if you make a mistake and that anybody can drop their bike. All we can do is pick it back up and move on. What I'll do here at the end of the video is I'll edit in a couple bits of footage from some reactions from some of the guys that I ride with when they found out that I dropped the bike their first time seeing the damage and stuff. That may be interesting for you guys. I dropped my bike last night. What? You what? Any damage? Now, was it like, obviously you didn't crash, but you just like dropped it. I wasn't even going like two miles per hour, bro. Gas station, just. So just this. <laughs> well, time to go full carbon fiber. <sighs> That's what I'm thinking. That's not bad. No, I mean, see, no one even notices this shit. Uh, so the peg is okay. This made contact. That's replaceable. Oh, dude, the rear sets are fucking fire. They do look really good, actually. I love that. That red and silver and black combo looks fucking good. So did it come with the extender? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, the the it's actually a sh it's actually shorter. So the factory one, the standard shift passes through here, uh -huh. and connects back here, so you're lifting on it. Yeah. Versus this one, you're pushing down. Right. What's that? Your neutral is up, right? Yeah. Well, neutral's in the it's it's Still, first gear is up, and then this next oh, five are down. First gear. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Those geometry way more aggressive. No, it's less aggressive. I need to move it up. 
We set it there because we thought that'd be closest to the factory. Yeah. But I think this is, and I'm gonna put it there. Cause my legs are a little short, you know? Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. Definitely stay tuned to the channel for future content. We got some really exciting new videos coming your way. Just got some new parts in and we're gonna get an appointment scheduled to get those installed. The big one is race headers. I'm super excited to see how that's gonna sound, especially in combination with the SC Project exhaust that's already on the bike. Hopefully we'll save a little bit of weight and uh, make a little bit more power as well. So if you guys want to see what brand of headers I went with, stay tuned to the channel. That'll be either the next video or the one after that. Definitely subscribe, ring the notification bell. And if you guys enjoyed me sharing the story of me dropping my bike, hit the thumbs up button. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.